guys welcome back to my channel I'm glad you can join me today while I get ready to run some errands I know it's been a while I haven't been able to talk to you guys you know and show you new things and this and that if you're really even interested um, some of you are and I appreciate it thank you so much um today we are going to be doing this nice new Ciate London Brazilian Glow eyeshadow palette I've used this a couple times already this might be my go-to because it has most, if not all, shadows that I use. And they all are very, very pretty together. So, yeah. If you want, you can hit that like button. And you can also hit that uh, bell. <laughs> that notification button. So, you know, in case I upload something you want to know about it. You know, be like, woohoo! Or you like and see what I do, so you you know you can do some more, learn some more, you know, and whatever. But hey, so I think it's about time to get started. Yeah, here we go. All right, so I already have my lotion and my eye stuff on, which my lotion is Yamsa. It is I love this shit, lotion very well. It has an anti-inflammatory in it, and it just it helps your face. Especially when you have like spots and it's like your face just isn't mm. So I used to wear their foundation because I liked it a little better than it. But now I found an even better one that I am actually going to be buying more. more oh, excuse me. And it's the KVD Good Apple in medium at 033. That is what I'm going to use today. But before I put that on, I'm going to put Yensa. Essential Glow primer on. And I do put, I just put that much on. You probably don't even have to put that much on, but I have big pores. So I try to film in, and it does in a sense cover up like the lightest of imperfections on your face. So I guess there is that. But other than that, it's just, mm. So since I have large pores, I also put another primer on right here just to cover my pores and I usually go for the benefit. I only get little ones because I don't want a whole big one. But this one is the light primer. I have all theirs. They're really, really good. I'd, I'd highly recommend them. This one, I just put a little bit on and it comes out like that so I can split it. In, I literally can split it in half. And I'll just take it and I'll just rub it on my face right here. And I fills in all my pores and I go up between my brows. Yes. Ta-da! Ah, I know it's a great item. Alright, so I have dark circles as you can see. And I have some imperfections today as you can see. So we are using, this is where I cheat just to see if it works. And it does kind of... But sometimes it just doesn't work as well as I would like it to. <clears throat> but I have LA Colors Concealer. I have one in red and I have one in green. The red one is for my under eyes. I try to use it. It works. It doesn't. And then the green one is for the imperfections I have on my face. And yes, I have a fan on over here because it's July in Ohio. Yeah, it's hot. It's a hot one. So I got these green dots all over my face, right? Like I'm about to go in the war, man. Got my war paint on. Oh, can I say that? I'm sorry. Sorry, if you're PC, yeah, I wouldn't come here. Um, I don't care for PC, just so you know. I'm voicing my opinion. Free country, I can voice my opinion. If you can say and do what you please, why can't I say and do what I please? It's an even world, right? Is it not an even world to do that? I believe so. But anyways, aside from that. Then there's even a chance I could put too much on. You know, I... <clears throat> So, to help out, to even out these colors, 
I also have KVD concealer in, but don't get old because you can't read. Medium, it's also a medium, it's 129. And I love this concealer, it's great. It's a little dough thing, and you can even, it's got a little ha ha. And I just put a little bit where I put that green. And sometimes where I put the yellow, or the yellow, well, it will be here, put the red. Because whenever I put makeup on, it's like the red kind of smears. So, but how y'all been doing? I hear school's about to start. Hope y'all ready for that. didn't work like I wanted it to but it did but it didn't so that's okay so now I'll take yeah I don't even use the right brush because the right brush I gotta use I would use from my foundation which is my kabuki fair it's dirty right now with other foundation on it so I've been using my stippling fair and it works just as well for what I need it to do I don't use brushes for what they're supposed to be used for. I use them for what there's, what I need to use them for. So there's that. Like people use fan brushes to brush on concealer? No. Or not concealer, uh, highlighter. Cause you just take and you just go, Hoo. no, I use my fan brush to brush off the excess that has fallen and you know, make sure no, nothing is out of place. So I put three spots. I might need more in the end. It all depends on how this works today. It's kind of blended in. Like so. Just like that. Yeah, kind of, sort of, but not really. Hmm, right? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I know, I still have imperfections. So this is what I do. I take that concealer again that I just used for ones that didn't get covered up, okay? And I put it on there, and then I just take this, and it kind of works. Anyway. Sort of, kind of, yeah, something like that. Hmm. So now for my under eye, I've actually started using something different, in a sense, application wise. I got this Miss Glam Concealer C01 brush because, like, my 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 sponge is just ain't getting it for me. So I got this nice little brush. It's so pretty, ain't it? And this angle, as you see, I've used it. But it's an angle concealer brush. So what I do for this step is when I take my It under Bye Bye Under Eye, this is the best stuff for dark circles, I swear. I mean, it's a little got a little stick to it, but it's the best stuff. And I just put it under my eye and I just blend. Blend. Something like that, right? Well, if it's like that, then I'll just use my other one. That, this... Magic Erase by Maybelline. And I just give it, give it like two clicks. And then what I also do with this is for the imperfections that just doesn't want to 
they don't want to go hey they just want to hang out and be like hey here I am I just kind of dab that on and then just kind of cover up it like that so ta-da right wrong my eyes brows brows I have brows pink lips I love this this is pink lips. This color is that color that I really wish I could read. Dark brown. It's just a skinny one. I don't do the fluffy. No, I just, I color in. I fill in. And for the longest time, I didn't. Why? Hmm. I just... Didn't think I needed to. But then I started looking. I'm like, mm, I kind of think I need to. So it's like, well, let's see what we can do. Pardon me. I have to bring my mirror into play. So, you can now tell because this is how I used to go around all the time. I'm like, oh, I don't need it. And it's like, that's fine. <clears throat> well, it is also a little on the white side right now for my uh, foundation. But yeah, like, <sighs> so, I just film in. Make them look like it's a whole eyebrow again. Apparently this happens. Hey, don't get old. If you're under the age of 30, don't get old. This happens. Yes, I am over the age of 30. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Gone through some issues. I had a few job changes and... Just a whole, whole, whole lot of stuff going on. But there is a sad plus in my life. A sad plus. And my child don't have to go to school no more. That's why it's a sad plus. I don't have to worry about it. But it's sad that he don't have to go to school no more. So yeah, so then I just take my brush or whatever, blender, something, just try to like, well don't do that, contact but popped off my eyeball. Yeah. Like so. Ta-da! Look at that. So. That's that. So now for, you know, what while my setting powder with my pink fair brush. You know, I love these fair brushes. These are the greatest brushes ever. I've, I've messed with a lot of brushes. The fair, they just seem to, they know what they do. And yes, I get this all over the place. Mm hmm. But I don't care. Nope, I don't care. Because I dip my brush in and then I'm off. There's about that much. You're like, oh, you don't need that much. Yeah, kind of do. So this is where I have the difficulty. And if you guys could help me with this, it'd be freaking awesome. So I have my setting powder on and I have, where'd my brush go? I don't know where it is. And then my under eye, I use wet and wild as well. But I use uh, the banana. 
setting powder. It's banana. So, my thing, you still see I got imperfections, right? Right. So, this is what I've been doing. <clears throat> oh, sorry guys, you want to pour right there? This concealer brush I have, I can just go. Maybe. See if this works this way. This is just. So, there's that one, there's that one. So then I take this other, this is technically a concealer brush, it's a, it is a Visanti, because I, this is also an angled concealer, but this is where the brush thing comes into play. This is an angled concealer brush, as you can see. This is also an angled concealer brush, but it does not work. These are like stiff brushes. These ones here. They're, they go with the flow, so that's why I like this one better. This one here is also a concealer brush, but I've only used it for my under eyes. But what I do is I dip it in my setting powder, and then I go around those imperfections as much as I can and kind of like make it go away. And sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it makes whatever I'm doing worse off than it already was. So. But that's okay. That's quite alright. Quite alright. Yeah. That'll work today. Of course, too. Imperfections come when you're hot and greasy kitchen. Except it's not so greasy. It's just hot. And sweaty. And all that other stuff. So. This time, I think I'm just going to start off with my eyes. Because that's what you're all waiting for, right? But I don't want to. No. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't want to. Do I have to? No. No, I don't. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to use some Complex Culture bronzer. Yeah. It's a baked bronzer. It's sun bath. It's play. I've used it. Ta -da! And no, I don't use angled brushes. Why? Hmm. So if I don't have fair brushes to use, Miss Glam, they always have these things here. I have a blue one somewhere too. I got a blue one. I got a green one. I got a bunch of pink ones. I got a nice angled purple one that I use for some few things. Like, you ain't got fair, you get Miss Glam. It's actually SL Miss Glam. So, Slam? I don't know. Anyways. Shut up. Just go. Psh, psh. So I hope you guys' weekend is going to go great. Hope you have fun things planned. Get that last minute trip in there. Get that last minute, you know, whatnot. Or if you're out shopping today for the tax-free kid weekend and hope we get some good deals and get all the fun stuff that you need. See, I missed one. I missed one, man. I missed one. I'm just like, hey, it's gone. So, cheeks, nose, da 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 da. Do a little here and under your chin, and da 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 da. Right? Right. So then we got. If we do all this other stuff with KBD, we gotta use the KBD blush, right? I did do a whole video on KBD. If you look back through my videos, I do have a whole video. I almost did a whole face. I almost did a whole face. But I don't have the mascara 
and there's a few eyeliners that I would prefer to have. And I never, ever got her contour palette. I so wanted to get it, but she's not involved with her company anymore. She sold her part of it, so now that's why it changed to KVD. But once again, <clears throat> it's I, I still like the product. So, but once again, I get a fair brush, yay, ha, -ha and we're gonna do this. Da. Then I got this new Tresluce. I don't even know if I'm saying it correctly. But I have a highlighter in this. This one's a cream one. And this one's the powder. So the cream ones I've used before because I have Huda's palette or uh, contour palette with the blue. It's It'll make your face shine if you like the shine. Basically all I do is I put my fingers like this because I'm going to use this one here. So I steady it. Just go like this and you get some on. I know there's probably a better way to do this. But that's just how I do it. Right? So then... Guess what? I got another Miss Glam. See, it's so pretty. So then we'll stick it in this other one. And we can blend it. Then you can just use the powder shiny one to highlight the rest of your face. Yeah! Ta-da! It's a party, it's a party ride. It's a party, it's a party ride. Oh, it's a party. Right. Oh, party. Alright. So, what you all have been waiting for this entire time it's the palette the palette right right so this is what I'm gonna do this is why I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do guess what I got Miss Glam brushes over here too mm. you like Miss Glam they don't mind my brushes they need wash but like I can keep pulling out I do have a whole set that look like this. Then I got multiples that look like it. It's like they're sparkly and they have you know jewels on them. I just I just gonna keep on going. This one I did lose one, unfortunately. It's so sad. So sad. what we can do I know I should have gotten my brushes out prior to talking to you guys but I didn't I'm so sorry so now I'm just kind of like hmm <clears throat> so yeah all right so let's see what we can do with this let's take I do have and I replaced I have a brush cleaner here and this needed to replace. I'm like, I'm not spending freaking ten dollars on another one. I'm like, I'm just gonna find this stuff. So I went to my local hardware store, actually. And yeah, it came in a long thing, but this long thing I can cut to fit into here. And if, as long as the thing is, it'll last me quite a long time. You just have to find it. It took me a minute. So I don't know exactly what I'm wearing today yet. But, we'll figure it out. Mm hmm? Right? Right. So, I think we'll go with the, this is what we're going to do. I know I look at this and I'm like, hmm. So I think we're going to take some of this sunrise here. 
the sunrise. Yes. And I'm going to dip my brush. I see it. Ta-da! Now, these are very, very pigmented colors, just so you know. No, I think I'm going to go, like, dark brown, almost black today. It's not black. It is still brown, but it's a really dark shade of brown. And then just kind of, yeah, you're like, oh, my God, what are you doing? I'm doing that. I know, and I keep making it darker, huh? I do this all the time. It'll be fine. I like to look like Mimi. <sighs> Cleveland rocks, right? So, I have my concealer brush. I have my Beauty Crop Eye Primer. Well, there's a little difficulty with this right now. It's all the way down. And when I dig in, my nails being long like they are. <sighs> So, I use my new one, and I just go bloop, and I can just, and it gives me just what I need, like so, oh yay. You're still like, oh, but that looks so horrible. No, no, just chill, will ya? Take a chill pill, sit back, relax, and watch the show. Yeah, that's what I'm here to do, is entertain you. It's so great, ain't it? I know, it's fabulous. Okay, so now we are going to oh, make up on my nose. Use this dark color here. And that dark color is, oh, hmm, chill out. That was a great segue, wasn't it? I know, I just kind of like literally dip it because this is like really really dark and then I just kind of blend somehow and I every now and then well I should say every now and then every time I put my makeup on now to try to get it in the crease of my so I put the shadow on one side and I put it on but then when I do my crease I flip it so I can get it in there like so. Mm-hmm. I just do it the other side and blah 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 my club and This is almost like black eyeshadow. Like you gotta get it right there. If not, it's it gonna be everywhere. Everywhere. See, it doesn't look that bad now, does it? No, it don't. I know. In a sense, some things of what I do. But not all the time. So now, I think I'm going to go popsicle. Yeah. I think I'm going to go popsicle. I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, and if you're watching, don't mind my dog in the background. There's some, my neighbors are out fixing cars and she's like, ha! Ah. So poolside is this color right here. Yes. Yeah. And I got my other Miss Glam brush. But then again, too, it all depends on the brush that you use because this one is like really, really dense. Sometimes I hate using this brush. So then for the inter corners of this, I'm going to use this right here, this tropical color. And I'm going to take my Complex Culture brush. This is a really a crease brush, but I use this brush. For eyeshadow. I mean, that's what it's used for, but I don't use it 
I use my brushes for what I want to use them for. And there are times that I've gone back and tried to use that brush for what it was supposed to be used for. And it's just like, pfft, why? It don't work that way. So. So to line the bottom, I'm going to take my fair wing and go back in to chill out. And just kind of line my bottom lash like so. Now, we're going to take Golden Glow. Yes, this Golden Glow right here. We're going to take that and use that to highlight up here. And to get in the corners. make it look all pretty. Ta-da! So, that's the face. That is how it is. So, if you follow me or you pay attention to videos or you just happen to search long videos, I got this nifty little contraption the other day. I've been trying to become a fan of eyelashes by all means. They work great. I love eyelashes, but I myself don't really need the eyelashes so I don't use them nor have I quite mastered the task of putting them on so I'm like well hey magnetic too magnetic all I've gotten eyelashes I've gotten tart eyelashes I got I don't know how many other eyelashes I just can't get them to work properly so today we're going to try the new fandango way because I got this thing and it seems to work this is eyeliner stick them up Put it on just like you do regular eyeliner and lid, but it's adhesive, so it makes the eyelash stick to you. So this is my eyelashes as they are. I can put mascara on them. I can, you know, do all kinds of stuff. So make sure I am good. Uh, I guess. Just sometimes this brush just irks me. It's like it's too dense of a brush and it just doesn't want to put. Yeah, that looks a little better. Sorry about that. Alright. Excuse me while I put the eyeliner on. But I did make a video of this the other day when I first got it, be like, hey. If you girls have issues putting eyelashes on or want an easier way, just do it with this. Something like that. I'm going to have to fix that one. <sighs> Looks really weird. Or just put some mascara on underneath of it yet. I don't know. Let me see where this one goes. So give me a second here. And I'm going to let you know too what eyelashes I have. Like I said, I don't buy eyelashes. Well, obviously I do. I went and got all these. It's just... In a sense, I don't need them, but then at some time, I'm like, I want to look pretty. Yeah, I'm going to have to put, oh, I just didn't put them on right. Or oh, they're just too much. They could be too much. Too much sounds about right. So what I have on today is Tardist Pro 
goddess. And it even comes with a little glue. I got an itty bitty glue to go with these. When I got these, these are tart. I know they're so pretty. I really don't have them on the same way. Oh, this one's like flapping everywhere. Yeah. So, that's that. And then I'm gonna spray my face, minus these lashes, because I don't think I'm doing them lashes today. Nope, I'm gonna just put on some eyeliner and I'm gonna go put on some damn girl Too Faced mascara. It makes it look good. So I'm gonna do all that off camera because y'all don't need to see that. You got this done, you know, you're great, you're good to go. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got entertained for a bit. I'm all still on the left field with these eyelash things. So if y'all can give me some tips, that'd be great. If not, fabulous. But hey, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.